It's your move. Oh, no. What you gonna do? It's a drop of your chip. Or a turn of a ring. And there you go. Changing everything. Round four. Oh, no. Get four in a row. Round four. Oh, yes. Just one more to go. Now you're on a roll. But look out for the hole. Cause a turn of a ring changes everything. Round four. I win. Round four. Round four from Milton Bradley. Catch the whole gag from The Facts of Life. Pack up Brooke Shields, you're through. Weeknights at 6 on TV 18. Wonderful world of Disney. Psychiatrist Ludwig von Drake probes the mind of a mad duck. He looks into Donald's foul temper. His rocky romance. When you wish upon a star. And he even discovers the cause of Donald's voice problem. Find out what makes Donald tick when Von Drake checks out Inside Donald Duck. Coming up next. Our story begins after these important messages. An unusual thing happened recently. Some Cabbage Patch kids were born with beautiful corn silk hair. Look, everyone said, you can wash and curl their hair and braid it and style it lots of ways. And they have their own brush they can hold. Seems as if they could have a different hairdo almost every day. And they always love to be loved, a lot. Cabbage Patch Corn Silk Kids, with everything you see here, each sold separately, some accessories not included from Coleco. Take a gamble on Yahtzee, there's a million ways to play. Play it in pairs, in the night or in the day. Play it with a full house. Play it with an ace. Bet you can't play it with a poker face. Take a gamble on Yahtzee, there's a million ways to play. Play your grandmother, she'll beat you anyway. Play it to win. Or just play it straight. With three of a kind, even play it on a date. Just take your chances and play your dice nice. If you can say it, you can play it. Who says gambling is a vice? Take a gamble on Yahtzee. And now look for new casino Yahtzee, too, from Milton Bradley. Congratulations to Stephen Kovacs from Belmont, North Carolina. Stephen is a TV18 VIK Club member with a blue membership card, and he knew that Scooby-Doo was a great dame. Stephen's our TV18 VIK Club winner for this hour. Keep watching TV18 because we'll be asking another question next hour, and we may be announcing the color of your TV18 VIK membership card. Inside Donald Duck. Now your host, Ludwig von Drake. Case history number 1330. Patient D. Duck. Oh, how could anyone get so mixed up? <laughs> oh, what a beautiful phobia, this one. Real challenge to modern psychiatry. Cause of neurosis, the opposite sex. Now, as you all know, there's a woman for every man. But there are billions of women and billions of men. And the odds of finding the right woman for the right man is... Uh, 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 you take 42, you put it into three. Well, that won't work. You could force it. Let me see. Uh, the, uh, 
Well, <laughs> that's why we have psychiatrists. And when D. Duck found the one woman he thought was created for him, boy, did he need a psychiatrist. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, I remember the first time Donald Duck came to my office. Now watch the watch, watch the watch. That's the way I probe into the subconscious, you know. Just relax. That's right. Relax. We know that a lovesick male without cash will do anything to finance his romantic inclination. First comes temptation. But in Donald Duck's case, it wasn't a fair fight. So his conscience lost in the first round. It was a knockout. you feel guilty. And this guy felt like a real stinker, but not for long. beginning to think he was some kind of a regular lady killer. The next symptom is usually an acute case of inflated ego. All it takes is a little flattery from the girlfriend to blow up this ego. Good night, big shot. Donald began to see himself as a big shot playboy, a polished man about town. But pretty soon the polish rubbed off and a guilt complex set in. And that's what happens in cases like this. Now all of a sudden he imagined he was public enemy number one, two and three. G-men were tailing him. He could feel them drawing a bead on the back of his neck. Delusion. 
confusion was the only thing in his tangled mind. But there's no running away from a guilt complex. You can try to walk away, but that doesn't work either. Anyway, panic led to frustration. Frustration led to delusion. And they all led up a long flight of steps. The gallows. No, that wasn't what... <laughs> Duck's description of his experiences is better than television. And you know something? Underneath this kid is a real ham. <laughs> you know, we psychiatrists find out things about our patients, and the nuttier they are, the nuttier we psychiatrists become. Of course, they become poor nuts and we become rich nuts. I mean, but that's the show business. <laughs> Imagine there was a price on his head. <laughs> With a head like that, prices are ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this was gonna be a big case, and if it wasn't, I was gonna make it a big case. And that's the way the fee goes. Our delinquent duck suffered all of the symptoms. Frustration, desperation, hallucination, and uh, eventually he was thinking about incarceration. That means they're gonna toss him in the lockup for being a crook. No wonder he come to see me. Oh, stop! In an extreme case like this, it takes a sudden jolt to wake up your conscience. And brother, did he get it? Right in the conscience. <laughs> to get his self-respect back and put back the money he had borrowed from the kiddies' piggy bag. And Donald put back all the loot plus a nickel besides. And a nickel besides? Oh, what a crazy, terrible, horrible, miserable, mixed-up case. It was just... It was... I felt... <laughs> it was beautiful. Now you can see why we have psychiatrists. But this was only the beginning. I could hardly wait to get D-Duck back on my psychiatrist now. Our story continues after these messages. Some plastographs seem to have a mind of their own. So get the one that clings where it's supposed to cling. Get Reynolds plastograph before yours gets out of hand. Use Reynolds Wrap to freeze. Reynolds Wrap wraps right. Fights freeze or burn, you're gonna learn how Reynolds Wrap can freeze. Takes the cold, takes the heat from casserole to dinner meat. Use Reynolds Wrap to freeze. with a real cassette player inside. There's lights, mics, and glamour when you put on a real concert with your favorite tunes. Then you convert it to the sleek office where Jerrica works. Truly outrageous! The Gemstar stage converts to a portable cassette player. Jim and her friends sold separately from Hasbro. Yeah. Only one line of cosmetics is designed to keep you at the table instead of the powder room. Because only one line of cosmetics is designed to absorb oil and keep your face from shining through. On silk, even our liquid contains the same unique ingredient that makes our powder absorb oily shine. So use corn silk for natural looking color and coverage that keeps the shine off your face and you at the table. Cheerios announces Kid and Sue's treasure hunt. They found the treasure and want to share it with a million lucky kids. So Kid and Sue are putting a real dollar in one out of every 20 specially marked boxes of Cheerios. Or you can write for a chance to treasure hunt. Box 5455, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55460. See package for details. It's Kid and Sue's treasure hunt. And a one dollar bill could be in your next box of Cheerios. Happy hunting! 
How'd you like to make friends with a very unusual rabbit? How do you do? Meet a crazy fox or a bungling bear. Introducing Uncle Remus, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear in the happiest, slappiest, dashingest, crashingest, singingest, flingingest Disney animated classic of all. This holiday season, Walt Disney's Song of the South is back on the big screen. Rated G. Starts Friday, November 21st at a theater near you. Check newspapers. We now return to Inside Donald Duck. After I had rid Mr. Duck of his imaginary guilt complex and hallucinations, and after he had bamboozled me into financing his courtship, what a nut I was, his romance ran smoothly. Oh, there is nothing like a smooth running love affair to keep a man happy. <laughs> but what woman wants to keep a man happy? They like to keep a well-balanced male off balance. In other words, they're playing hard to get. Donald's early. How did he know I'd be ready? Hmm. Looks like he's taking me for granted. Donald probably thinks he's the only man in my life. Of course, he's right, but he's much too sure of himself. Well, I'll fix that. Hello, sweetheart. Heavens, roses. Oh, you know they give me hay fever. And bonbons, my figure. And by the way, when are you going to get rid of that silly sailor suit? Anyway, I have a headache. She used every female <laughs> trick in the book. You know something? I think she wrote it. Darling, at last we're alone. Kiss me. Well, that's the way the weaker sex keeps the stronger sex weaker than even they are. As you can see, the clever female can drive the unsuspecting male into an unbalanced state. And we all know about women drivers. <laughs> Daisy became an obsession with the duck. The next time Mr. Duck came to see me, psychiatrically, she was a mess. Take it easy, Mr. Duck. Relax. What you need is a good night's sleep. Sleep? I tried that. You, you did? Calm down. Tell me what happened. It seems that Donald thought he... I had to eliminate the cause of his neurosis. The only cure was to get Donald to give up the whole idea of marriage. He was too immature for matrimony. Actually, it should be matrimony, because it costs so much. <laughs> I decided to brainwash him. For this, my psychiatric tool was hypnosis. Oh, I was so sneaky. All right. Watch the watch. Watch the watch. Relax. You are getting drowsy. You are getting sleepy. You are... You're doing nothing now. Come on, you're going sleepy already, will you? I'm the doctor, you know. You're supposed to do what I'm telling you. That's my new instant type hypnosis. <laughs> Years of experimentation, and this is the answer. Now, Mr. Duck, you see marriage as a dream. Mr. Duck is your life. Your married life, that is. This is living your better off dead. <laughs> I lose more doors that way. What am I laughing about? It's my door. Come to think of it, I lose lots of patience that way too. Our story continues after these messages. We're looking for Benny the Food Lion Butcher. I'm Benny the Butcher. We need some facts. Facts? Nutrifacts. Oh, that's simple. Simple? Simple. Food Lion's meat department now features nutritional information on beef and pork. What's all in this booklet? Booklet? Booklet. You know, with recipes, cooking instructions, storage tips. It's free at Food Lion. Plus these cards. Cards? Recipe cards. A new one each month. Tips on how to fix the beef and pork. Well, see, it's all here in black and white. Yeah? Don't see much black and white anymore, do you? Ultra Magnus! The courageous Ultra Magnus is a born leader. We meet at last, Galvatron. And it will be the last time we meet. And Galvatron is Ultra Magnus' sworn enemy! Transformers! Galvatron transforms from laser cannon to fighting robot! 
an Ultra Magnus from huge car carrier to Autobot Commander. Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers, each sold separately from Hasbro. Like every snack from Fruit Corners, new fruit wrinkles are made with real fruit. Here's your eyes, here's your nose. They're a good source of vitamin C. Here's your mouth. In spite of that, Julie thinks they're pretty neat. Oh, don't look sad. You look cuter with a smile. If it comes from Fruit Corners, it's made with real fruit. I love your eyes. Oh, Poop, I can't see. <laughs> fruit wrinkles from the makers of Fruit Roll-Ups and Fruit Bars. Without water, they'll fry. It's no man in grip. Say goodbye, Turbo. Rambo, the force of freedom. Oh, it's Rambo! Blow him away, Gripper. Turbo, jump on! I'll use my night vision helmet. Got him in my sight. Look out! Gotcha! Get Turbo, Gripper, and Nomad. Bridges and vehicle each sold separately. Having convinced my patient Donald Duck that marriage was not for him, I advised him to get a job. That's good therapy. He forgot about Daisy and was happy again for about 10 minutes. Wouldn't you know it? This guy got a job as a salesman. And with a terrible voice like his yet, it made me wonder if I had cured him or if he was still psychiatrically free with voice problems. You won't believe who it was. That's who it was. Now, Miss Duck, please tell me what happened in your own world. Leave nothing out. After all, I'm the doctor. Well, doctor, I came to tell you about my boyfriend, Donald Duck. One beautiful spring day, my boyfriend and I were walking in the park. <laughs> I tried to revive him. Finally, he came to and looked. Our story continues after these messages. Get ready, kids. It's time to play TB18's Kid Quiz. If you're a TB18 VIK Club member and you have a green membership card, this hour is your chance to play. Our fourth question comes from the wonderful world of Disney. In today's episode of the wonderful world of Disney, who is Ludwig von Drake? If you're a TB18 VIK Club member and you have a green membership card, call 570-1818. And if you're the second correct caller, you'll win a Scrabble Rebus game from Cell Chow and Ryder and TB18. A double pleasure's waiting for you. A double pleasure from Double Mint Gum. A double great feeling making you realize Double Mint's the one for you. Double fresh. That Joe's in trouble. No, my coppers are in trouble. That Joe is Sergeant Slaughter. Don't mess with Sergeant Slaughter. He's as strong as they come. I'll take him take on a hundred cobras and set them on the run. Meet Sergeant Slaughter and his Triple T tank. Sergeant! Sergeant Slaughter is now a part of G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. A real American hero. Live the adventure of G.I. Joe. And look out, Cobra. Sergeant Slaughter comes with Triple T tank. Cobra figures and equipment sold separately. Joe! Prepare yourself for Oriental Classics. A whole new way to enjoy great Oriental dinners at home. You add fresh meat or chicken. We add crunchy vegetables, luscious sauce, and fluffy rice. It's the freshest sweet and sour you'll ever sink your chopsticks into. New Oriental Classics from Betty Crocker. Fresh Oriental taste at home at last. Inside Donald Duck will continue after these messages. Great new look in store for you. It's Silky Sensations from Aries. Beautiful hosiery for working legs, active legs, and exciting legs. 
in fashionable colors and great new textured styles. And all made with DuPont Lycra for added silkiness and sheerness. Silky sensations for legs that know where they're going. Exclusively at Belk. Air Silky Sensations. Do I have a VCR? <laughs> Boy, do I have a VCR. I bought this one, but it didn't have remote control. So, I bought this one. But the salesman didn't tell me about slow motion. And then I got one in stereo, but it wasn't brought At Circuit City, our professional sales counselors are trained to ask the right questions, give the right advice, and make sure you get the product that's right for you. Then, I decided to buy a video camera. I should have gone to Circuit City. Circuit City, the intelligent choice. My name is Bingo Bear. Shh. This is the amazing Bingo Bear. If you talk to him... Can I feel your nose? He talks back. Would you teach me to dance? I need a hug now. <laughs> You're worse than my mom. Bingo. He loves to giggle, talk, and play. You never know just what he'll say. Bingo Bear from Hasbro. He's your very best friend. <laughs> Free all week long, starting Monday, November 17th, sneak a peek at the Disney Channel. Don't miss the excitement of a special behind-the-scenes look at Disney's spectacular 3D musical motion picture space adventure, The Making of Captain EO, plus 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Mary Poppins, and more. Find out why millions of families share the Disney Channel in their homes every day, starting Monday, November 17th. Watch the Disney Channel free. Free preview starts next week on Cablevision of Charlotte and Gastonia. You are controlling the fastest train in the world. The most revolutionary machine on tracks. The incredible turbo train. So fast, it travels in scale beyond the speed of sound. So powerful, it can do what no other train can do. Race up a wall, defying gravity. As it streaks along the rails at super speed, you turn out the lights and you're in night glow. Streamlining the darkness. Take control of the fastest train in the world. The electric turbo train. New from Tyco, of course. Using case in all my 40 years of practicing psychiatry, after 76 consultations, he was getting nowhere. I was getting somewhere. I was getting as confused as he was. <laughs> but I knew that somewhere in Mr. Duck's subconscious lay the answer. Every brain is made up of blocks, like this, you see? Each one does something. Memory, perception, reflexes, imagination, vision, headaches. These are all called mental blocks. And if you have too many of them, then you are, <laughs> you are blockhead. Now, if we go two blocks north, and one block west, then three blocks south, and then one block east, we're gonna find my laundry. That's where I left it. No, that's not it. Ah, this is the place. Right here, you see? <laughs> Nothing. I was determined to penetrate this mental blockhead. Uh, I mean block. No, come to think of it, I mean blockhead. Finally, I discovered the true cause of Donald's troubles. Right here. It all centered in this one little block. Now, I call it the T-block for temper. Something like this can be very dangerous. Please, Mr. Doc, are you sure you left nothing out? Well, just one little thing. I do have a strong temper. What's that? I can't understand the word you say. Don't you understand English? A temper? Oh, that's good. <laughs> now we're really getting somewhere. That's beautiful. Oh, please tell me all about it. Well, for example, yesterday when I went over to Daisy's house, I was all right until... Well...
had a slight temper, all right. No wonder his road to romance was so rocky. He was a cantankerous, irritable, obstreperous, boisterous, quarrelsome duck. <laughs> oh, he was a beaut. Temper, temper, shame on you. You never see me lose my temper, do you? Uh, well, I'm not going out with you again until you cure that temper. Oh, dash it. I'm sorry. Denise, go. Oh, what a beautiful temper. At last I found the cause of all your phobias. What? Control that temper and your phobias will disappear and you will have a beautiful voice. Like mine. <laughs> It's a chain reaction, you understand. One thing leads to another, and another, and then another, and another, and kaboom! All your neuroses are kaput. And thanks to modern science, that me, there's a sure cure. There is? Don't interrupt when I talk. I will have it delivered to your home immediately. Let's be brief and get right to the point. I'm an insult machine representing the Tootsbury Institute of Temperism. If you can take my insults for 10 minutes and still control your temper, you'll be cured forever! Forever! Do you promise to give me your attention, your whole attention, nothing but your attention, so help you, Hannah? Uh, I do. That's fine. Now, will you please look behind you? <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> oh, Come over here. Hey, just a minute. Ah, control yourself. I almost forgot for a moment. Psst. Have you heard this one? It's about the. It seems that there were two men in the net. Remember, before you lose your temper, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, you're doing fine. In fact, I'm going to give you a nice surprise. <laughs> Don't lose your temper now. You've only got a minute to go. Ten minutes, relax. Now relax yourself. All right. Close your eyes and hold out your hand. Only ten seconds to go, pal, and you've made it. Now it's almost each hour of D-Day. Duck Day, that is. In just a few seconds, Donald should be completely cured of his temper and be able to speak clear, perfect English. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations! You're a new man! I say, hooray! Oh, I'm cured! I'm cured! Daisy, it's the new me! I'm cured! Daisy, it's the new me! It's the new me! We'll see. Test him out on the window. Would you mind opening the window for me? There! See? Ah, anything else? Oh, ah, oh, oh, ah, oh, my poor hand. I say the very thing. May I? You may. Hypertensions and neurosis vanished. 
his voice became as beautiful and as understandable as my own. <laughs> and as for me, I collected all my valuable notes on this case and put them where they would do the most good. The case was closed. A triumph for Madame Saikai. Come in, please. Ah, good day, Doctor. We just dropped in to express our sincere appreciation. Oh, yes, Doctor, and we're so happy. Please, control your emotions, darling. <laughs> See what I mean? Dr. Von Drake, I'm so delighted that I'd like to pay my bill in full. Oh, there's no hurry, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, it'll be worth every cent, I assure you. Oh, one thousand three hundred and forty dollars! Oh, this is, this is outrageous! Please, hold your breath. Relax, take it easy. Dr. Walton, remember, you're cured. You black, 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 you black. The day he first walked into my office. The wonderful world of Disney will continue following these messages. How did Pat Kramer get from this size... Hi, Judith! ...to this size? Hi, Judith! From this house to this house? From this pet to this pet? From this meal to this meal? And from this phone call to this phone call? Lily Tomlin, Charles Grodin in The Incredible Shrinking Woman. Eight o'clock movie on WCCB. And Savage, you like our new strike cycle? Let's show them how it works. It's Rambo in a Skywolf jet. Wings in attack mode. I'll get him with a minigun. This will stop him, Rambo. Look out! Got him! Set a wheel. Get the Savage Strike Cycle, Rambo, Skywolf Jet, and figures each sold separately. What, what, what? What's a mobile to her? Ooh, flashy, too, bang, too, flashing up the Congratulations to Luke Duncan from Pineville, North Carolina. Luke knew that Ludwig von Drake is Donald Duck psychiatrist, and he wins a Scrabble Rebus game from Sal Chow and Ryder and TV18. Thank you for playing TV18's Kid Quiz today. Be watching tomorrow because we'll be playing Kid Quiz again. And if you're a TV18 VIK Club member, you could be our next winner. On the next wonderful world of Disney, it's Herbie, the star car. He's out of his mind. In the city of romance. He's out of his mind, all right. He's in love, he's in Paris, and he's in trouble. It's about the $6 million diamond stolen this morning. It's a crash course in comedy. Now you talking, we got the old Herbie back. Take a spin around Europe when Herbie goes to Monte Carlo. Tuesday at 5 on the wonderful world of Disney. Thank you.